Hey folks and welcome back to another one. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you all another gun review. Today's video will be on the Kui Model 39-22 rifle. HW Kui Machine and Arms Company has been a staple gun manufacturing company throughout Canadian history and the Model 39 is no exception. This rifle commonly purchased throughout the 1900s up until its production ceased though still they're commonly sold as used firearms commonly traded and used amongst people for hunting and shooting purposes. The Kui single shot rifle would birth dozens of rifles in the future throughout history and it would also pave a lot of design for other companies such as Savage Arms. The Model 39 is a generally attractive single shot 22 rifle. It has this beautiful blued finish to the barrel and it has this amazing wood stock. The stock has a metal recoil stock pad and it has these two screws holding the stock together. It has these two solid iron sights in place for easy aiming and I will confidently say that these 22 rifles are probably the most accurate guns I have ever shot. I can shoot a literal 1mm twig off of a tree like it's cake. The gun rim fires SL and LR ammunition and as you guys probably know 22 ammunition is extremely common, it's extremely cheap. So you can go out there and buy tons of ammunition for these guns, go through them like it's nothing. Uh, 100 rounds is probably you know 7 to 10 dollars. It's very very cheap and makes it great for shooting and not to mention 22 ammunition is extremely reliable i never had a misfire on a 22 round the action is very durable and hasn't put me wrong to date even after all these years the ejector though isn't the most reliable the gun seems to fire all the rounds fine that i put through it but when it comes to ejecting certain shells seem to kind of stick too tight inside of the rifle and they will not eject now it does seem that this is a common issue i've seen a lot of people have this issue with the uh, model 39 uh, some people say it's just the ejectors getting dull which it could be but I'm also thinking it just could be the certain types of ammunition that I use because I notice it's usually um, lead bullets uh, lead 22 rounds rather than you know copper plated or brass plated uh, or hollow points when it's just a solid lead bullet it never ejects it I find and I, I just guess it just sticks in there and it expands too much maybe but I'm not entirely sure. To load the gun, you can either put your bullet all the way inside the bore, or you can just put the tip in and close it, and that'll put the bullet right into your bore for you, and it'll be ready to shoot when you pull the hammer. And like I said, when you're ready to shoot, all you have to do is pull back the hammer, and the gun will be ready to fire. To extract your shell or to put the hammer in a safe position after it's cocked, there's two ways of doing this. The one way of doing this is when you pull back the hammer, pull the trigger and keep your thumb on that hammer and just gently slide it back forward. Just like that. I find this can be unreliable if you know your hands are cold, that could slip out of your hand and set it off. Always point it in a safe direction, that's a big thing. But the way that I like to do it, and I actually don't see too many people doing it this way, is just simply pointing it into a safe direction. It's a light gun, so you don't need to really hold it very solid. Um, you can just point it in a perfect direction Use your left hand to completely hold that, pull the trigger, and then you can just slide it like that. This prevents it from any uh, any sort of sliding that might cause any harm to other people around you. Uh, if your thumb, like I said, is cold, that could just go off and shoot. But that's the uh, two ways to do it. And once it's closed, you open the chamber, extract your shell, and you're good to go. The gun has this little knob underneath that allows you to dismantle the firearm. It'll remove all the metal components and allows you to clean it and dismantle it. The gun has this beautiful solid trigger on it with a beautiful trigger guard that gives lots of room for your fingers, especially if you got gloves on. Now that's all the information I have in regards to the Kui Model 39 rifle. Now I'm just going to go into the woods, send some few rounds through this gun so you guys can all see how it operates. All right, folks, so we're out in the woods. I'm going to do a quick shooting demonstration for the Kui 39. So for just a quick loading demonstration, you simply pick up the bolt, pull it back, open it, and you can just feed the tip of your 22 ammo just in there like that. And you can just push it forward and it closes the bolt. And then you have this little hammer on the back and you can pull that back when you're ready to fire and then it's all good to go. So always make sure that you keep this hammer like that and only pull it back when you're gonna shoot at something. So let's real quick go over here and I'll show you guys how the gun shoots. Uh, 
That was a nice echo. So as you can see, it's a 22. Doesn't have really any recoil whatsoever. 22s are very, very nice, especially for young shooters, people new to the sport. And another big positive is that the ammunition of 22 rifles are so cheap, you can go out and you can buy about 100 shells for like seven to $10, so it's really, really nice. So I'm just gonna pop off a few more rounds here just to see. I'm shooting different kinds of ammo right now. I'm just shooting lead tipped. Uh, I'm shooting hollow point brass, hollow point copper. So let's see how it all shoots. Hmm. Another big positive, the 22 rifles are, they're extremely accurate. You know, I just picked off a little branch up there and here I can, I can turn the camera a little bit here and just show you guys on some branches exactly how accurate this gun can be. So I'm gonna stand about 15, 20 feet back here, and I'm just gonna aim for those little branches there on the ground and see if I can hit it. There you go. And sometimes, if you eject it hard enough like that, the Kui 39 will eject the shell. Sometimes, and it's pretty common on my gun, it will actually get stuck. Now, I really like this gun. It's extremely accurate for, you know, a gun that doesn't have any like real sight on it. It's just like a little, you know, normal iron sight on a rifle. It's really nice though. I've picked off a lot of grouse and stuff with these, with these guns and makes it really easy to shoot them. You know, these guns are so accurate, ammo so cheap. It's really an all around great gun to have in your arsenal for both hunting and just for shooting for fun. But the only downfall, it is a single shot. That's about it, really. They're beautiful guns, they look awesome. I highly recommend people give these guns a shot. So now let's go over some pros and cons of the Kui Model 39 22 rifle. Some of the pros I like are its extreme good accuracy. These iron sights are super stable. It allows really, really stable aiming. It's a light gun. You can go anywhere with this. It's reliable, it's rugged, it's not gonna break on you. I like the trigger guard, how you can fit a nice big finger in there. It should all be good for that. Uh, 22 gun, cheap ammo, lots of accessibility to that. That makes it super easy to put lots of rounds through these guns and you don't have to break the bank for it. Now the two cons, again, the hammer. I don't like the operating system for the hammer. I think it's very unsafe, but it's also an old gun. That's kind of how they were made back in the day, so you can't really expect too much. But I think as long as you're very careful, it makes it good. And the other thing is that the ejector won't always catch that bullet and eject your shell. Sometimes those rounds stick, depending on the bullets you buy. Try and go through different rounds and finding out which ones work properly. I found some ones that work for me. Usually copper plated hollow points or brass plated hollow points work good, but I find the uh, lead bullets don't work as good for ejection. Quick neutral opinion. A couple neutral opinions on the gun is the overall appearance. Uh, back in the day, I'm sure these were all beautiful guns, and I completely agree with that, but now that they're all pretty much, you know, they're, they're not being manufactured anymore, they're all used guns, they're all worn, um, you're never going to really get a perfect one unless it's been unused. So if you're going to take the time to find one that is unused, that's really nice because it'll be a beautiful gun. But mine, you can see all like the gloss finish on it is coming off, the, the blued barrel starting to rust a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful gun still, but, but it's not what it would have been back in the 1900s. Um, but overall, still a great gun. And another neutral feeling is that while it's a 22, it's great for kids to shoot, great for smaller people who don't want to absorb a lot of recoil and stuff like that. It's such fun shooting. Just because the way the hammer is, I would highly recommend not letting kids use this gun unless you're going to teach them properly how to use it because the way that hammer is, can really, really cause some damage to people. It could really harm people. It could even kill somebody if the kid does not understand how to operate the safety on this gun. Thank you all so much for watching. This was my review on the Kui Model 39 22 single shot rifle. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Please help support my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. And please leave a comment if you have any questions down in the comment section. 
So I hope you all have a good one and take care.